myself tonight I'm losing myself, I'm losing I'm losing myself tonight With your love With your love I'm losing myself Losing myself, I'm losing I'm losing myself tonight Losing myself, I'm losing I'm losing myself tonight last night just something i made up yesterday just a workout routine and somebody asked me on there um basically what do i eat to lose weight i have a whole playlist health and nutrition playlist but i thought okay i'll do another what i eat in a day since it changes a lot i'm still keto i say modified keto or keto based just because i'm not really looking if i'm in ketosis but i keep the same principles of lower carbs and then higher fats and i do higher proteins as well because i'm trying to get ripped okay that was that was nothing um and that's why i'm trying to get ripped um because i'm not so yeah um and i will take you guys through my day i'll do like a what i eat in a day type of thing and you guys can kind of see right now i just got back from the gym as you probably saw and now i'm gonna go get my weight checked because i do that like once a week i try to get that done once a week and yeah so me and my uncle are gonna go do that and then we'll see what I eat throughout the night. Okay, bye. I dress up like I'm wearing nothing when I go because I'm trying to like get the least amount of clothes on me when I go weigh myself. So we will see what I weigh today. No, I don't have money for it right now, but I'm gonna come back and look for it. So these are the ones that I usually get, the ISO Pure, cause it's keto friendly. But my sister recently got this one and it was so good. Let's see the macros on there. It's less than one, so like barely any carbs, less than one sugar, 24 protein. That's really good compared to, let's see the peanut butter two carbs one fiber so one carb 25 protein actually this is a little better i'm gonna try these next once i get the money carbs on this one two grams on this one see mm -hmm. and if you go with this one up here they have less it's less than a gram of fiber so you're consuming about one gram net carb okay now what's the difference between these and then the iso pure and the select so the iso pure is the same it's the same concept as whey protein i say but they have absolutely no carbs absolutely no fat oh no fat either no fat either that one has about a gram or less okay mm -hmm. and then these ones here same thing mm -hmm. Okay, same thing like the ISO Pure, because I know it has like one but this one. Is more of like a blend, it has okay. concentrate and casing in there, so it's meant uh, to be taken like before bed. Um, you, you can still do it after workout, so it just takes a little bit longer to break down. Got you. Um, and if you're sensitive to milk, it can upset your stomach because the casing is a milk derivative. Right, so, and those ones don't over there. None, these don't, and then these don't either. Perfect. Gotcha. Get rid of most of lactose protein. In Perfect. There. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, we have to look into these then, Uncle. All right, so me and uncle just got our weight checked our what do we get fat and yeah come into the screen i can't change i can't turn it um but he went down like eight pounds you went up a little in fat but you went you did good on your muscle too right. you stayed like the same and then i went up one pound of muscle and up one pound in fat so i literally went up two pounds this week but it was like good and bad but my water did go up one pound too so pretty good i think i yeah. think we did pretty good this week and i know where i messed up just because we went out on the weekend we went out is that mexican food That's good stuff. was that mexican food That's good stuff. <laughs> so we're
So I'm showing them, uh, that's okay, broke. Um, I'm showing them what, I'm, what I eat in a day. Mm. And so we're gonna go get Starbucks. We don't have this every day, but we love it. And we'll show you what we get. All right. Celebrating. Hello, hi, good. Let me do a venti cold brew. And let me have sugar-free vanilla, sugar-free dulce. And, um, heavy cream in there as well. And let me do light ice on that. And then for that one, did you want full pumps of each? We usually do so three, like three pumps of okay. each. Cold brew, vanilla, cinnamon, heavy cream, light ice. What'd you get, uncle? What'd you get? Let's see. Hot Americano, heavy cream, caramel and caramel. Those aren't sugar free, but you know, that's all right. You deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll go eat food. Let's go get some eggs, bacon. And then I want to do the that medley, that vegetable medley. Mm -hmm. We have it at the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there should be. And I also got a water because I'm still on my gallon a day. All right, so let's see. So I'm literally almost done with my Starbucks. And I got a water because I'm still on my gallon a day. Um, okay, so for breakfast, I'm going to make some bacon, just regular Kirkland. Usually, this is the Kirkland brand. Usually I just get, um, I get, uh, what is it? What do I get? No sodium nitrates bacon, and that's usually the uncured. I do the uncured bacon, okay, do that. And then I have an egg farm by my house, but they're just, I don't think they're, are they free range? I think they're free range, but they're not grass fed or whatever. It's like one or the other, I forgot. So I just went to Walmart, me and my mom went to Walmart and just got some brown cage free eggs right there. We got these, I'm gonna cook these up. And then I'm also gonna cook up some vegetables because I've been really hungry lately because I've been lifting a lot heavier things. I've been lifting a lot heavier, so. I'm getting like hungry and I want to fill that up with more vegetables. So I I follow more of, I don't know if you guys know her, Ali McWowie, she's a um, YouTuber, keto YouTuber, and she basically doesn't do that much fat, like not like crazy amounts. Like I've seen some people like, just eat all the fat. That's what I was doing in the beginning. And that I definitely helped like my skin and everything. But um, I'm just trying, like I said, I'm doing more modified keto based eating. So that just means more vegetables i guess like a lot more um and that's going to help fill me up so we're gonna make that i'll probably just have like two eggs bacon and like some of the vegetables and i'm making this for my uncle too so good stuff i gotta go somewhere today so i'm gonna cook this up real quick and get dressed all right with keto usually you're not eating a lot of root vegetables like carrots and potatoes and yams but like i said modified keto i'm just gonna add it in there because i love this medley it's like one of my favorites it's this brand california blend you know okay and then on the back side we have 25 calories per cup um and then you have four grams of carbs two fibers so that's really two carbs two sugars that's the only thing it's like natural sugars but still i don't like it and then zero fat and you know actually is there even protein in here less than one exactly so again if you're on strict strict keto you're not going to be doing the carrots okay but i'm doing it so this is just what i'm eating today okay I might go back to strict keto later if this stops working or whatever, but I'm kind of in maintenance gaining muscle mode. So yeah, I'm doing it and it's still working. So we're going to do that. I'm going to pop a top on here. Let's pop a top. Let that go. And then I'm going to make the eggs once my bacon is complete. Ooh, Lord. So I'm making a lot of this uh, medley. Like I filled it up because I want to eat it when I get back too. Um, so I'll have probably a little bit now because I'm not too hungry after the coffee. And I usually don't drink coffee and eat something. Like usually this is what I have and then I can wait like a couple hours. But since I'm, I have to drive um, far today, I'm just going to eat and then I'll be fine until I come back. 
So that's why I'm gonna make a lot more vegetables. Um, and then when I come back, hopefully I'll just eat it. And what I'll do is probably put some butter on those and maybe some cheese, I don't know. I'm trying not to do too much cheese right now, um, but I will probably put some butter on it and maybe just some like flakes of like garlic powder or something like that. So that's what I'll do. And yeah, and I'm still almost done, so. I'm basically full, basically. So while my food is cooking, I actually did this video because I owe it to a lot of people that I said I would do a uh, what I ate today video, but um, somebody commented last night on one of the workout videos that I just posted and was like, can you like say what you eat because I am trying to lose weight. I stopped soda, I stopped junk food and it's like, but I'm eating too many calories and stuff like that. So with keto, you're eating um more fat and the fat is going to satisfy you longer than um just eating carbs and stuff like that so that's awesome that you stop the sugar like the junk food and the um soda and stuff like that that's great that's the first like first layer then like for me i'm not saying keto you know some people lost weight doing other things that's great um, I lost weight in the beginning doing a program called Lindora. And then I, I was like, I could do this on my own. So then I started keto. So I'm not saying it's the only way, but it's, it is a good way. At least for me, it really been good, especially for like my skin, my hair, my, you know, um, weight, everything like that. So, so that's one thing. Another thing that I've noticed like now lifting a lot heavier is I can eat a lot more. So what I do is I don't eat more and more fat. I do more vegetables and like this medley that I'm talking about because it satiates me and then I have fat with that. So like I'll put some butter on it or whatever. Like now I'm having like my bacon and eggs with that. And I just eat like a lot. Like I can have a whole head of cauliflower. I made cauliflower, um, cauliflower sushi so instead of rice you like put you blend up cauliflower and then mix it with cream cheese and you roll that in like sushi roll and had avocado with that it was so good and it was a whole head of cauliflower i ate a whole head of cauliflower um kimchi an avocado and it was good like literally it was probably like one one meal and i was full for the rest of the day so you can do that um you don't have to. Some people like smaller meals in a day. I do intermittent fasting more, so I'm really eating like two meals a day. Um, so you can do that. But I just wanted to let you know there's ways to go around it. So one, if you're doing keto or want to try it, I have videos on it, but um, you should definitely eat more fat. So by fat, I mean avocados, I mean coconut oil, um, uh, oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, um, what else? Olive oil, no canola oil, no seed oil, no. Stop those oils. Ugh, they're tire oil, nasty. You don't want those. Get a match out. Um, I also like cook a lot of things in bacon grease because I have like a little bacon grease thing that I put, pour my hot bacon grease in and then it I do that a lot and it, everything tastes amazing. Oh, really good zucchini and bacon grease tastes fire, fire. Uh, so I do that a lot. And if you guys like these kind of videos, just watching what I'm eating, like what I eat today videos, then let me know so I can keep making them. Cause I do like making them and showing you guys and it keeps me accountable. So but that's basically it. Yeah. So right now I left all the bacon grease in the pan and I'm going to put my eggs in it. And that is how I am going to be full for a long time. Okay, cook everything in your bacon grease. I cook the bacon first, keep the grease. Okay. All right. The prettiest but bomb, okay? So we got two pieces of bacon each, three eggs, full eggs. I love the yolks. Now I cook the yolks way too much. I like, yep, yeah, look, I like my yolks like that, runny. But then again, I like my eggs anyway. I don't care. I just like eggs. So that's basically it. My vegetables are still cooking. So I'll probably have, if I have any, it'll be a cup. If I don't, I'll just save it for dinner and that'll be awesome. There we go. Just ate. Oh no. 
literally just scarfed down the food. Just showing you my after eating stomach. It's gonna go down, but I get bloated right after eating. So that's it, loose skin and all. So that's that, you know, but uh, I gotta go. So I will see you guys at a later date. I can feel the stomach bloat. Whatever, that's why we do abs. So I'm back on my skincare routine because my face, if you get acne all down here, that's hormonal. So it's like eating bad plus just bad hormones, you know? So I'm back on my skincare routine. Basically that means I have to do, I have to do a skincare video because I've gone through like crazy bad skin and then got really good. Right now, I'm just going through a season, a period. I know that it's going to leave. It's just, I always get left with dark marks. So it's just like a waiting game. But I just put on some sunscreen because that is the best thing. I do not, I'm trying to keep my skin nice, you know, for the rest of my life. So this is Anthelios. This is La Roche Posay, you know. Hold on, let me see if I can. Come on. Right there. It's 60 SPF. Um, and then it says ultralight sunscreen um, and fast absorbing non-greasy, it is kind of greasy, sports and outdoor activities, ultralight sunscreen spray, 60. And I think it's for like sensitive skin or something like that. So anyway, I use this. I was using just the little tube, but this is like a spray and it does kind of leave a white cast. I don't care because I don't want makeup. So I'd rather just have good skin. So doing that, and then at night I put um, oil on my face, which is rose hip seed oil. Rose hip, here rose hip. And then I just found these at TJ Maxx. I don't know if they work. Glow toner, face toner, and a rose water mist. I just picked those two up because I was like, hey, yeah, maybe my face couldn't like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys on the road. I feel like my face is looking better after all this water. I've been, I did the water. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that. It was really good. And then I stopped for a while and now I'm back on it. So it just, it's overall, you just gotta do water because it helps with your skin. It helps you not being so hungry throughout the day. At least for me, that's what's happening. I gotta roll up these windows. So for me, yeah, it helps my skin. It helps me not be hungry throughout the day. And it's just like, it's water, you know? We want it, our organs want it. Your body wants it. So drink it. Right now I'm actually on my way to Justin's house. You guys know Justin, my friend. Um, we do film together. We do different like projects and stuff. Right now we are working on live music sessions with an artist who is my friend Brandy and I will leave um, her, it's Brandy Rose Music on IG and you can follow her. She is an amazing, amazing, amazing singer. And um, we're doing some live sessions with her later this week so we're gonna go look at the studio um, where we're gonna film it and just like plan out lighting and stuff like that so we're gonna go do that and then we just finished filming a trailer if you guys like Teen Titans if you even know what it is you will enjoy this um, we did a trailer like live action really cool and we're gonna we're right now in post-production and I'm gonna leave the um, Instagram because we trying to make it, you know, get a little bit of a following because it's honestly, it looks amazing. And so if you guys wanna follow it, it's gonna be um, down in the link and I'll probably put on the screen here. Um, but yeah, honestly, I've just been really blessed with being able to do my film and photography while I'm waiting for to hear from the Air Force, whatever they say. But in the meantime, I'm just worrying about this stuff. Uh, I literally have like three photo shoots coming up as well. A newborn, a one year cake smash. If you guys know what that is, like one year olds, they do like a little cake smashing 
uh, photo shoot and then I think one more photo shoot so it's like the Lord's really been opening up opportunities for me in my film and uh, photography um, channel business uh, passion so that's awesome I'm really blessed for that also if you guys have not heard or obviously you obviously heard um, Kobe's passing Kobe Bryant's passing yesterday I wrote something about it on my Instagram um, yesterday and it was just like we never know when you know our last time will be and so that's why we need we need to be right with God and so like that and I've already talked about this my faith and just Jesus Christ him, him being my savior and how it's you know we don't know when we're when we're going to go but just having that reassurance in Christ that we can live with him forever um after we die from this earth and we can be in heaven but you have to be a child of God to do that so just letting him in your life and letting him change you accepting him that he died on the cross for your sins and accepting that and just believing in that and so that just gives me hope and I know people are struggling with this especially people who were closer to him family and stuff like that and I know he's talked about God before Kobe and stuff like that I don't know his relationship with God obviously I don't know but just for everybody else who's just struggling with their own mortality like thinking wow like could have been me type of thing you know when you have that assurance from God when you have a peace it says in the Bible that God gives you peace above all understand above all understanding like you even in chaos you can have peace because you're like I'm not even thinking about this earth I'm thinking about eternity with God so even if I do die I know that I'm going to be spending eternity with him and so I just wanted to give you guys that um that little beacon of hope that if we are with Jesus Jesus our Lord and Savior then then we don't have to fear so I just want to leave you guys with that um, I didn't mean for this video to get deep it's just what I ate today but you know I know that that just happened so I didn't want to speak on that but yeah so I'm doing all this stuff and <laughs> let's go see how it goes because I'm excited I don't know what else I'm gonna eat today I'm actually really full so we will see we will see all right a what I ate today video because somebody asked so he literally just brought these in I only come over here for the snacks they got yep. chicharrones so thanks Justin <laughs> yeah do your salad and do they all just have the extra greens in there is that what it okay yeah then I'll just do that to go please um let me do no that's okay let me just do an extra helping of the veggies. And then I'm gonna do your steak. What is this one here, the second one? That's the carne asada. Let me do your carne asada. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything? Okay. Let me do your pico and your mild. And then I'm gonna do your sour cream, cheese, and guac. Yes. I'm trying to. Let's see, what is it? To go order Taro Dream 24 ounce almond milk, boba, and caffeinated with zero sugar. Added, I'm guessing. The added. Yeah, but that's it. All right, so me and Justin just got some boba and yeah, some yeah. chipotle. Um, I don't eat like this every day, but I promised you guys I was going to show you what I ate today. So this isn't usually the norm, but it's still Only good. Me. Yeah, we go out to eat a lot, a lot. But, you know, I try to keep it keto, modified keto. Uh, <laughs> and then, well... The Chipotle is, the is boba is not. Yeah, the Chipotle is all good stuff, but the boba isn't. But hey, I haven't had like any That's carbs today, yeah, so go. we're good, balance. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then we just got back from LA, looking at all of the locations, doing location scouting. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be really nice. We'll be on the lookout. So I'll show you guys when we finish that. And the Teen Titans. I told them about that. Good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Late night snack. I just came home, put some of this in the microwave 
some of the medley I made earlier because I didn't have it for breakfast. Um, the cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. And then I just put some butter and cheese on it. And that's it. That's going to be my last meal, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm eating this right now. Um, so I wanted to just post this video still because even though I didn't eat all at home, I've like made so many videos to where I'm like eating, trying to film a what I eat in a, in a day. And then I end up like, oh man, I don't want to post this because it's not like what I eat or man, I went out or something like that. But I was like, you know what? That's fine. Cause like we all go out sometimes. So why not post? Just post it all. So I did go out today. I had Chipotle. Um, one of those like keto chipotle bowls. They made something new where it's like, oh, this is a keto bowl. And I'm like, I already made this before, before you guys decided to market it as keto. I just didn't put any rice or beans in it. And I did the salad with, you know, the fresh guac and stuff like that and no chips and stuff like that. But I did that. And then I, I did get boba, which is like my favorite things. I got the taro boba and they actually put chunks of taro in there or ube, you know, you Filipino, um, and so that was, oh, that was so good. So the thing with that is obviously that's a lot of high carbs because it's, maybe my dog's eating her food, but it, um, it's a lot of high carbs because it has the boba in there, which is the tapioca balls. But that was basically it. So I had that and we were out and I was so hungry. I don't even know where my wallet is. So I had to spot Justin. I get, I Venmo'd him. Um, but yeah, so now I'm eating this. This is one of my favorites, like. Carrots are so sweet. Now, like, being off sugar from keto, like, being off, not eating, like, all that sugar that, you know, I think American diet, like, standard American diet is used to, it's easy to just eat sugar and not even know it. But now, it's, like, everything is sweet. Like, carrots, so wheat, you know? Um, I'll say, if I didn't go out tonight, I would have probably ate... If I didn't go out to Chipotle, I'd probably eat eat this. Like if I came straight home, eat this. And then I have fish. I have salmon and I have tilapia. I probably would have made that. And then I have some veggie patties in the fridge. I probably would have made that as well. And I probably would have had some more coffee. So we have this coffee from Walmart. We get it and it's the iced coffee from Starbucks. The blonde roast is the best, I think. Um, and then I would have put some heavy cream in there and we have some sugar-free syrups. So I would have done that. Like I said, it's different every day. Not super different, but I do have kind of like a weird schedule. So I mean, different stuff, but I try to keep most of the things the same. Like breakfast is usually the same. Um, and I just love eggs. I can eat them all the time. I love my eggs, my bacon. Um, but it depends. So that was today. And I'll pro I'll, if you guys like these, I'll probably do more. So that way I can just show you different things that I make. Or if I go out, what I choose to eat when I go out. So yeah. Hope you guys like that. I'm going to finish this and then go to sleep. I will see you in the next video. I hope this answered that last person's comment of an idea of what I can eat in a day. All right. See you guys next video. Bye. Oh, wait. Yeah. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like, follow me on my Instagram because I update you guys a lot more on there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.